Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for the one and only Chris Jacobs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Aloha to you. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Everyone having a good SEMA? Oh, yeah. yeah, man, this is the best week of the year. So cool. Dave Kindig, Kev Dog, Bitchin' Rides. A little show called Bitchin' Rides. Anybody watch it? <laughs> man, dude, I, I, I say this every single year at SEMA. I am so happy for your guys' success. I got a little story to tell you guys. I think it was back in 2015, maybe. Yep. I was doing this thing over at the uh, Westgate that we were calling Velocity Live at the time. Motor Trend used to be Velocity. And uh, I had a bunch of the, the, the stars of the various shows up on the stage with me. And down in the front row was none other than Dave Kindig. And he was in production for season one of his show, Bitch and Rides, at the time. And I told him afterwards, and I, I had seen a little bit of his work, and I said to him, I go, man, next year you're going to be up here on this stage getting interviewed. And sure enough, that was true. And your star has just risen at a meteoric rate, man. Thank you so much. Uh, Chris, I'll, I'll tell you what, I, I remember specifically that moment. And when you said that, I was like, you know, I, I never try and jinx myself. I try and just, you know, stay humble, don't really think too much about anything. But everything you just said, it just has, like, naturally come true. It's been a dream. I mean, the, the team, the family, that uh, the, the Discovery, whether it's Motor Trend or whether it was Velocity at the time, is really something that's, they bring you in, they hang on to you, and they treat you like a uh, family. And it's it's been awesome. I mean, I could not ask for a better team. And now here we are five years later, and you Great. guys are in season six of Bitchin' Rides, which is airing right now on Motor Trend. And uh, I know that you guys are doing something really, really cool, which is a spinoff of Bitchin' Rides. Bitchin' Rides will, of course, continue. But you guys are, are sharing the love, and this is exclusively for the Motor Trend app. Tell us about Bitchin' Boot Camp. So the cat's out of the bag. Uh, Bitchin' Boot Camp, can you lick the gravy off your hot rod building plate? Ooh, I'm intrigued. <laughs> Tell me more. Well, we're going to get eight contestants, actually, and uh, come early 2020, uh, we're, we're going to have another... TV show called Bitch and Boot Camp, as you mentioned, and uh, we're going to test some skills on some people, whether they're the highest quality of builder or maybe just trying. <laughs> I think that, well, what's cool I think about the competition? The way to say that. <laughs> what's cool about the competition is the winner actually gets a full-time gig at Kindig Design if they like it. Otherwise, they get some really shiny wrenches. <laughs> <laughs> now we're really hoping as a parting uh, gift. You know, it, honestly, the the, the bitch and boot camp actually came along because we have about thirty employees, and it is so hard to find people that are in this industry that really can work well with other people. And, and do, me and and Kev Dog. <laughs> yeah, and that, Kev Dog. Let's that not forget cuts that. It, like in a quarter. Right out the gate. But it's really hard to find more talent and more people to put into our family back in Salt Lake City. So we started talking about it, and really it kind of just was natural. It's like, well, let's find some people and maybe throw them into some, uh, some uh, you know, situations where they have to build something kick-ass, something that would be something that you would see come from Kindigit Design, and maybe we find a couple more guys. And I understand that you guys are still taking applications to be a, be a part of that final eight, right? How do That's people correct. apply to be on the show? You know what? All you got to do is just get on uh, uh, motortrend.com, uh, bitch and boot camp, and actually fill out the application. Make sure you have pictures of what you've built in the past. We'd love to see what you've done, and maybe we'll see you in Salt Lake City. Yeah, we've seen some really cool videos come through already. <laughs> I'm super excited for this whole deal. Awesome, man. And Kev, Doug, uh, you know, I was talking about Dave's success, and you're, you're a large part of that, of course. In fact, Kev, Doug has gotten so big, he's got his own hat. Hey, yeah, that's so I don't forget Kev my Dog name. Kev on his hat. <laughs> <laughs> he says it so he can remember his name. I don't know. I'm not so sure about that. But, man, to you as well, dude, you, I mean, the, 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 the chemistry that you guys have over at Kindig Design is so much fun. Not only the great work that you guys do, but the amount of fun that you have in that shop. Well, you know, uh, Kevin and I have been friends for, what, 26, 27 years probably. Yeah, I think so. We've, we've known counting? each other so Way back in the days, we'd go to the car shows in Salt Lake City, the little park shows. They'd put all the hoodlums, you know, truckers, and the Volkswagen guys in the back corner. So we got to know each other quite early. We worked together at High Performance Coatings, and then I accidentally got him fired when he was working for me part-time. And so, uh, you know, since then, 20 years, we've just been working together, and uh, the guy won't go home. Uh, you know, you, you, you cannot get another Kev dog like this one. Love it, man. All right, Tommy, you got some questions from the audience? You betcha. I've got Robert, who's uh, here all the way from Sydney, Australia. Hi, guys. Love your show. Thank you. How long does it take to do a restoration, and how intense? 
Uh, you know, typically we, our, our builds are anywhere from nine to 13 months is pretty average. And, uh, you know, we, we do all aspects. We prefer not to work on somebody else's beginnings of their projects. We really like to start from, you know, from start to finish on a car. But being able to control all the logistics, quality, interior, electronics, the engine, the chassis, the all the metalwork, body and paint, it's really important to us to do it from start to finish so that it's done right. Thanks, man. Got another one, Tommy? From uh, a guy named Mustang Ray, who somehow got my phone number, he asks, uh, to create a one-off custom vehicle, it starts with pencil and paper. When and who inspired you to start drawing and getting into customizing? You know, actually, uh, my mom was an artist, but she drew, uh, you know, horses and landscape. So, really, my first uh, design work when I was about four or five years old was actually insects. And then I found out you couldn't make them. So, I went to my second love, which was cars, and I just really hung on to that one, so... That's cool. I like that. Insects are a lot like cars, the way they're put together, you know? Kind of, but you yeah. can't build them. Exactly. Um, speaking of building cars, I know that this is a this is kind of a, an easy SEMA for you guys. Last year, you had 10 cars here at SEMA. This year, you only got six. Yeah, uh, so that means next year, we'll have 12. Uh, we, no, we will not. <laughs> Kevin was like, hey, 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 don't get crazy. Listen, th this year was so, so, so <laughs> surreal. We were done early. We had all the cars ready to come down on Thursday, and that never, ever, ever happened. Wow, that never. Is, that is unusual. Yeah, so you didn't, you didn't have the usual SEMA thrash that most builders experience. You know, I think after 20 years, we've gotten smarter and better at that. Um, and, and certainly, you know, all of our guys have been with us for so long. They all have families. They have pets. They have, you know, a home that they'd like to maybe visit every once in a while. And when you were younger, it was pretty easy to stay all weekend, stay late nights, getting ready for SEMA. Uh, we got smarter and older. So, <laughs> all right, well, if there was one of those builds to see, which one would it be and where is it? Oh, oh this year? Yep. One? Yep. The truck or the Coronet? It'd be the truck, I have to say. Yeah, the, the truck. We have a 48 GMC in Borla's booth, and it is just insane. There are so many little small details. You could probably walk around it 10 times and miss something. Awesome, man. We'll make sure to check that out in the Borla booth. Another round of applause for the guys from Kin Digga Design, Bitchin' Rides, Kev Dog, and Dave Kin Digga. Their new show, Bitchin' Boot Camp, is coming in March of 2020, so look out for that exclusively on the Motor Trend app. Guys, thank you. Thank, thank you. you.